Hi, this is Tim Camsell at Action Coach with our Business Spotlight series. The purpose is to interview and promote local business owners. And this is a free service we're providing because we know that when every business is strong, every small business is strong, that is, that the economy is strong. So today I have the pleasure of talking with Tim. Welcome, Tim. It's great to have you on the show. It's great to be here. Wonderful. Well, hey, before we get into talking about your business, um, let's uh, have you introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about you personally. Yeah, my name is Tim Oberg, and I'm the assistant director at IEC ND. Um, I am a master electrician and a father of four. Fantastic. And uh, you live here in the uh, greater Indianapolis area? I do. I do live in the Indianapolis area. So. Fantastic. And is this uh, home to you originally? Yep. I actually um, was born at Methodist Hospital. So grew up here, um, did do a bit of a year stint long when I lived in uh, South Georgia, but we moved back. So Wonderful. Well, um, it's great to have you on today and, and have the opportunity to, to learn a bit about your business. So if I was to say, give us your 60 second commercial for your business, which is always a lot of fun. What, how would you describe your business to our audience? Well, our business is an electrical apprenticeship program. So what we have done for the past 20 years is we provided the training on the code and the theory for how electricity works and how we should do our installation. Um, as the market has changed, we've realized that we need to change the way that we've been doing things. And just the past couple of years, we've started a full-time um, training program where we're taking people who have no electrical knowledge and in 40 weeks, we're providing them with the training to go out and succeed as electricians. The number one request from contractors is to have a fully trained electrician. We're trying to create that market because right now, anyone that's fully trained is already working. <laughs> they sure are. And, and uh, all of my clients are having a hard time finding uh, folks who are uh, both uh, skilled and uh, ready to work. So I love what you guys are doing. So, hey, Tim, how long have you been, uh, how long have you guys been in business? Um, we went in, we started business, I want to say in 1992. And uh, that was uh, when Sherry Puckett was running the place. She is uh, the currently the director. Um, she's looking at retiring possibly this year. Hopefully not, but I'll be taking over for her. <laughs> Fantastic. So tell us more specifically, um, who do you serve or who's your best uh, customer or what we call a target audience? Yeah, our, our best company customer is our members. We have about 30 partner member, uh, member electrical contractors that are all merit-based organizations. And we work with them and they are also kind of our co-owners. So they help us kind of um, direct us on things that we should be focusing on, who we should be reaching out to. Uh, they were very influential and in behind you know, changing it from the traditional four-year apprenticeship, which we still offer, but also offering this uh, non-apprenticeship program where we just provide the training to people who aren't employed. Wonderful. So everybody has had uh, challenges during uh, the pandemic. What's the greatest impact that COVID has had on your business? Well, as an education center, COVID was quite the impact. Um, we had to find a way to fit 40 people in a room that only seated 20 people. Um, so for that, we did kind of an A-B switching where you were in class one week and then the next week you were at home watching online. So we had to master Zoom calls and, you know, the other ways that we would handle our classrooms online. And what we determined is actually this was really beneficial for a lot of our guys that were working out of town or lived further outside from Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. It was a lot easier for them to Zoom in. Now, we still need them to come to class occasionally to do the hands-on experiences, which are really important to understanding electrical, but we were able to work around that and just kind of spread it out um, and, and be able to therefore reach a much larger audience. Um, where our class sizes used to be 20 to 30, we're now looking at class sizes of 60 to 70. Wow, that's fantastic. So everybody has had to pivot in order to find a way to survive during COVID. That's a, a, an awesome example of that. So um, what do you feel is, uh, what do you feel made that work the best that other people could learn from your experience? What made it work was the fact that we have a national organization, uh, IEC, backing us, and they provided us with the training and the products in order to be able to best situate and, and present our classes to them. 
um, we were able to communicate with our students. So when we asked a question, we didn't have to wait for hand for a show of hands. We could throw a poll online that people could respond to. Um, and we used what was uh, called the big blue button, which um, was an open source software. It was really great. Um, we were able to get student feedback and it was mobile friendly. Wonderful. The big blue button. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so Tim, here's an interesting question. It's been said that smart people learn from their mistakes and wise people learn from the mistakes of others. So what's a mistake you've made along the way that you'd be willing to share so that uh, other entrepreneurs can learn from your experience? I think the, the mistake that I still struggle with is letting, you know, just giving the people the information, but not like checking up and following up. A lot of times with these students, I'm like, all right, here's a list of contractors, reach out to them to find employment. But that doesn't seem to really be working out, um, especially with younger people. You know, they start in the A's and they call the first three. And if they don't hear like what they hear, they give up. And a lot of times they kind of just give in to despair as opposed to keep trying. So to counteract that, we're actually doing a hiring event on July 30th where our 30 uh, members are going to be present. And they're willing to be doing uh, interviews, collecting resumes and hiring on the spot. Um, to whoever shows up at our campus at 8861 Bohany Lane on July 30th from 11 to 2. Fantastic. That's a great event and a great opportunity. We'll make sure to yeah, have you provide me that information so we can include it along with this video. Mm -hmm. So, Tim, what do you feel is uh, going to be your biggest challenge over the next 12 months with the business? Our biggest challenge is the same challenge that everyone has, and that's finding funds. Mm -hmm. You know, we are a non-for-profit non organization. So not outside of just tuition, we also try to find um, grants and, as well as um, endowment options uh, for our program so that we can make this more affordable for everyone. Um, you know, we can never be free because people have to have skin in the game. But we want people to be, we want everyone who wants to be here, be able to afford to be here. Um, so we have recently gone about the fun status of changing us from a 501c6 to a 501c3 and also getting more um, recognition from the Department of Education instead of the Department of Labor, uh, which would allow us to seek FAFSA funds. And that is the fun that we're doing here. <laughs> I love it. Second last question here, Tim. Um, I'll get your contact information so that we can mm -hmm. include that with this video, your email, phone number, um, website address, et cetera. But is there anything else that you want to make sure that uh, the audience knows about or any types of special offers that you've got going on? One of the things I want people to be aware of is that the average age of an electrician, not just nationally, but within Indiana, is 57. And within the next five years, we're looking at a 20% drop in the available workforce. If you have a company right now and you need an electrician and you're hoping someone with 10 years of experience shows up at the door, it's frankly not going to happen. You need to hire a green person and train him, especially if you currently have an experienced person. You're not going to find another experienced person. If they're not working, there's a reason. So our program is offering that training. If you are uncomfortable with getting someone completely green, we, we will be turning out every July about 20 different people who have gone through our program and had over 500 hours of training that have run a thousand foot of Romex, that have run you know, a thousand foot of MC and over 500 foot of EMT. They're gonna be familiar with all aspects of electrical. They may not master anything, but they're gonna be familiar with it all. And they're gonna know how to do the 20% that we do 80% of the time. <laughs> Fantastic. So Tim, is it okay if I don't know what those acronyms mean that I just call an electrician and they take care of it for me? Exactly. And that's what we're creating here. <laughs> Wonderful. Last question here. Tell me what's been most inspiring to you, Tim, over all the craziness of the past year? What's really been inspiring was the students here, the way that they were able to adapt, to pivot, and to adjust, um, and just continue to show up and continue to log in and do their homework, despite all the craziness, especially with most of them are working full-time jobs while they're in the program as well. So it's just been really refreshing to see them just the stick to of this younger generation that wants to be electricians. 
Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for sharing. That does conclude the interview. For those listening, if you've heard something that's piqued your interest, please uh, reach out to Tim, learn more about the program. If you're looking for um, electricians, as he said, they turn out about 20 uh, folks a year who have got extensive training. If uh, you uh, have the, the means and would like to invest in the program, please you know, uh, help Tim and, and, his, and this company provide for more electricians. As he mentioned, we're going to be in a, a crisis here soon as, as the, uh, the experienced electricians retire and we don't have the pipeline full. So it's going to be a, a huge need that uh, would love to have folks help um, provide funding to, to support this amazing um, uh, nonprofit organization. Uh, please, again, reach out to Tim, learn more about it. I, I'll include his uh, contact information in here so that you can uh, take advantage of that opportunity. As well, for everyone that appears on the show, we do offer a complimentary coaching session as a way to say thank you. So Tim will talk about that here when we get offline. Um, Tim, it's been a pleasure uh, learning about you and your company today, and I wish you tremendous success. Thank you. All right, well, hey, have a fantastic day. You as well.